all of a sudden we changed character. We were staying on top, and even when we did here for a minute, or actually a couple of minutes, we had this accumulation here on this zone, and we were able to reclaim. Come back, pull back, retest, and hold on top, and push again. Hey, what's happening? Uh, today is a very special day. I'm just joking. Um, well, today is a good day, and I hope uh, that all of you guys are doing great. Um, and so I want to address uh, something that uh, we've seen in the market happen an extreme amount of times, and I'm going to use the example here, AR stock, to talk about uh, price uh, changing the character, right? So character change and price action and how to measure those entries uh we're gonna go back a couple of days this is a couple of days ago on the 8th right and we can see the 15 minute time frame here on ar and we are actually pulling it back all the way here to uh show you how the stock was uh performing uh during that trading session there gonna see how the stock started to push uh, on a bullish trend and this is a energy sector name um, we have seen how all of these names have been performing over the last couple of days we got Ida storm that battered a lot of the states and supply and demand are still like suppliers are still trying to come back online demand is there so the oil prices are actually going up but we see this push on the energy sector names over the last couple of days and today uh, what I want to address is this uh, talking about price change and character change on price action so that way you can identify these changes and um, address it as uh, support and resistance and risk management standpoints to go long short on those uh, trades so Coming into the day, we see how we can use the, the view app. You want to use the view app as the measurement here for this move. Okay, so starting the day, we had a little bit of a pre-market session here. So this is the reason why now you have no activity. Uh, going back, uh, since the pre-market opened, and we, we, we actually dipped a little bit and then reclaimed this one minute time frame. You can see how we printed it. And let me try to take it back here a little bit um show you uh, what it did right so coming into the open we started to go sideways uh, printing these candles here we have a gap up yellow candle right here you see the low this candle yellow turn line and we started to print these candles we did for a little bit we printed a low and then came right back up uh dip under it again to uh, have some sort of accumulation zone here on the view app and then come right back up if you notice a five minute time frame every every single candle had a real body on top of the view apps again we're gonna use the view app here as a measuring tape for example quote unquote to measure and to have a level to trade against right so every single body stayed on top of the view app on every single candle so even though we did Every single close was on top of the view app, but this one didn't, right? This it was the, the this little bit of a congested area here, accumulation zone under the view app to then reclaim and come right back up. So we had a, view, a bullish trend. You can see that prior high here. This is a daily level that we had all the way back from here. This area uh, we had a sixteen dollars and eighty seven cents uh, view app, right? That is a daily level from back then and so we can see how we come down from this level 15 minute time frame we're gonna base more here on the five minute so every single candle here pull back accumulation come up pull back retest come right back up flag push up and then coming into the zone here we can see how we change all of a sudden we change character we were staying on top and even when we dip here for a minute or actually a couple of minutes we had this accumulation here on this zone and we were able to reclaim come back pull back retest and hold on top and push again now 
this time around we were coming down in one minute time frame and look at how we printed a small flag formation on five come rebounds retest so we got a couple of candles coming right back up inhale that 100 simple moving average right here on the one minute time frame came up to retest so the measuring tape or the indicator that we're using to measure how the price action actually interacted and if it changed or not is the view app here we can see how every single candle we're staying on top of the view app as a floor every time you pull back but coming into this area when we dip under we were able to bounce off of the 100 simple moving average then to come up right back up and bounce to have the same spot that we were using for that floor change towards the ceiling so we can see here and use this measure this spot to measure how prior uh, resistance or prior actually support became this resistance now he dipped under printed a small base around this area that you can see this small channel and then every single candle that came down got bought up you see here pull up retest ceiling push down came back give us a low on that long legged doji came right back up again the ceiling is right there and then back down again base here pushed up and here again that ceiling came down to retest a small base that we had dip under 50 simple moving average here and then push right back up again reclaim the area reclaim the zone but then it was not able to hold and we came right back under dipped under it again so we can see here how using that one minute coming all the way back we came down these areas that became that support came resistance so the difference here is that if you go in the front side of the move and here being the front side if you try to take a trade here it didn't hold this bounce came down and then probably stop you out and this push the second time around when it pushes up comes right back down and retest the area as a proof giving you the story here of what it wants to do next probably it telling you kind of like the story of where I'm going after holding that support area and then pushing right back up to higher day right taking the prior high pushing here coming here and then breaking the prior high there's a small flag formation here to push to the higher day right so same thing here dip came down support came right back up push down again so if you try to anticipate this move here trying to the front side of the change of character in this move you're probably gonna come right back up and when I have to wait all the way down for the price because you are anticipating that it's gonna dip now coming into these areas looking at this prior spots it will be really a bad idea to take the trade short on this spots because if it holds as it did back here the only thing that's gonna do now is actually it's gonna hold the uptrend again right so then when it changes here and the prior support actually becomes resistance when he rejected this time around that's when you're probably gonna notice that okay now we have in some sort of change right and so coming into these areas you can see how we have printed these areas and then by the end of day we just flush under there's a 4 p.m candle came under and we printed these areas coming into the following day push and held right on top try to keep moving in uh into the following day here taking a little longer than i want to let me just move it with this thing here okay so it flushes down comes right back up 4 p.m. 10 a.m. coming to these areas and here the same thing holding the view app coming right back up and then again changing character on these areas you see a bunch of trend lines all over the place here on the yellow uh, zone or yellow coloring uh, that's because I use these yellow trend lines to uh, mark 
uh, to have some sort of levels that I'm actually watching during the intraday session. Now, if you see a white one like this one, is uh, a daily spot for resistance. All right, so, but this is how you can uh, take a look at uh, those formations and how the change in, of character or price action character change happens throughout the day using the view app as a measuring tape quote unquote or as a, a spot to risk your trade off off and uh, if you pull it for the last day you see how it did happen here the same way you can see how i was having these areas that i was watching prior low here on the yellow trend line 16 11 uh, short it came right back up uh, um, not sure it came right back up here and rejected the zone here with a hanging man on five minutes came right back down retest prior low break under it come right back up and then by the afternoon around 2 p.m came down dip came right back up accumulation zone on top of the view app uh, rejecting that 50 simple moving average and dipping again to retest the prior low that we have back here and then flushing down all the way holding this zone right here 1590 all the way exactly by the penny 1590 by the end of day right so using the view app to identify accumulation zones and character change of price action will definitely help you to trade around those cores to trade around those areas and uh, risk management control will definitely serve you if you try to get as close as you can off of your risk areas of the basing uh, the, the areas that you're basing your trade off of right so I wanted to show you this show you how the price action changes and exactly how it does here you see how it dip and then reclaims to hold this spot right here this small accumulation zone let me just pull it back and scroll back to pointer show you here how so you hear how we have this small accumulation zone around this flat formation that we printed right and how we then have a follow through when he held that area on top of the view app well i hope uh, you guys have a great rest of your day stay green if you want to be part of uh, the trading group uh, you can find the link on the description of this video it's totally free also i run a community that uh, we use to um you know keep keep the communication going and keep uh, you know the conversation rolling and close on news cryptos um also stocks investing trading options and all that kind of stuff so for now i'll let you guys go stay green enjoy the rest of your day and i hope i hope i will see you around here next time